Hi, this is Vivian from Alibaba Cloud Database Team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build an online data visualization dashboard without coding on Alibaba Database. Before we get started, please follow our GitHub official account as Alibaba Cloud How To. And in the repository called Open Source App Server DB, it includes a bunch of popular open source projects with Alibaba Cloud Database. We will use the superset image in Alibaba Cloud Marketplace, which is well packed and configured for easy starting and future version upgrading. You could connect superset with many of our cloud database, so like PostgreSQL, PolarDB, RDS MySQL, RDS SQL Server, and so on. And we are going to use RDS PostgreSQL in this tutorial. So let's begin. First of all, you should download or clone the main.tf file uh, into your local Terraform workspace. I already have my main.tf, and don't forget to replace your access key and secret key, as well as check the region for your ECS is correct. And next, we are going to use terminal to access to Terraform workspace. And you type in the Terraform initiate to initialize your Terraform services. And then just type in Terraform plan to check the Terraform to-do list. And then just type in the Terraform apply. And type in yes. So you're going to wait for Terraform to build the services and establishment the connection. Okay, the Terraform script complete to build everything. Let's get connected to the ECS IP address here. So we just copy this and type in the SSH root at and it requires for the password. Okay, and here we go. We just copy this IP address and paste in your browser. And see, it connects to the superset, but it requires for the username and password. So we get back to the terminal and check out our password here. So we create credentials dash password dot text. So we just copy the password here. Okay, here we are. We already get connect to the superset. And what's the next is we are going to add our online database to superset. Just click here and select the name. So we already got one. And it requires for the SQL Alchemy URI. And don't worry, you can just copy this one here. It contains the Postgres SQL username, password, RDS Postgres domain, and port and schema. So we just copy it and paste here. And then we could be able to find our own domain in console. So let's get back to here. And just type in the app server db for rds and you can find the instance so for database connection it contains the internal endpoint we just click copy and replace this domain part with the one that we just copied from and test the connection okay it looks good and then add and yes, we did it. And there's a lot of sample data sets and dashboard in superset. So for example, like the Slack dashboard, you can import your own data set from database and try to build your own charts and dashboard and explore your own business or research insights. 
Thank you for your watching and please subscribe us on YouTube channel and also our GitHub channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.